Hello, 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 what's happening everybody? MCOC Droid does back again for another video, finally, on Marvel Contest of Champions. I am back. Uh, in case you had missed it, I was gone for a little over a week. I had left a couple Sundays ago for Louisville, Kentucky for a work trip, but I was also hanging out a couple extra days there, having some fun, seeing the town. I had never been there before, so uh, that was pretty cool. So I had pre-recorded a bunch of stuff that has already gone live on the channel in the last week. Uh, if you haven't watched it already, I did variant 2 100%, so I did the rewards opening for that. Rank 5 to my 5-star Aegon, did some other videos, so those all went up. Um, long story short, I was supposed to be back home on Sunday, but one of my flights got cancelled, so I rescheduled, got back home Monday afternoon... And I wanted to do some recording. I wanted to sneak in the weekly crystal opening or something. But these last couple days have been so incredibly hot. Somehow, I came back to California 30 degrees hotter than Kentucky, if you can believe it. So, I, you all know how sensitive my laptop is in normal conditions. I feel like if I tried to record in 100 degree heat, the thing would probably just spontaneously combust on me. But... Uh, nevertheless, I am here, I am recording, so let's go, time to get caught up. Um, so of course I gotta talk about Marvel Insider. Uh, we have, of course, the brand new event quest started a week ago, so I'm a little behind on these, but, uh, thank you for your patience of, you know, no content coming up in the last, uh, well, almost a week or so by now. Not a full week, but, uh, getting close to it, so thank you for waiting. Uh, so I want to talk about Marvel Insider. Of course, like I said, new event quest went live with Namor and Invisible Woman. So, of course, we have the usual point earning opportunities. You know, do your first run of beginner, normal, heroic. You get your 10,000, 30,000, 50,000 points respectively. And there are the two bundles here for 30,000 and 125,000 per usual. So, first of all, if nothing else, it's automatically a step up and better than last month because it actually features... One of the new champions. If you missed it last month, um, you can still get the bundles for a couple more days. But they had three new champions to pick from. Ronan, a Cole Obsidian, Ebony Maw, and they picked none of them. None of the new champions were featured in either of the bundles. And I don't get why it, it felt like they were just missing out. It seemed, I don't want to say unfair or anything, but it just seemed like they were totally missing the mark. But not featuring any of the new champions. So at the very least... Um, I am happy to see that one of them is being featured here, but I am disappointed that it's not both of them. Let me actually pull this away for a moment. So, so far this year, there have been two months of Fantastic Four champions. Uh, you know, one for The Thing, one for Human Torch, and both of them were featured as three stars with Marvel Insider. So, I was kind of expecting that they would continue on with the rest of the family as the year continued. And like I said, I am still happy that at least one of the two new champions is going to be available as a three star this month if i pull it back up it's going to be namor but then invisible woman is totally missing um again i'm not sure why they they've been on this slippery slope lately of not featuring both of the new champions or in the case of last month all three of the new champions in these bundles either as a two star or as a three star i'm not entirely sure why um, they're getting left out, but it is definitely disappointing, and I continue to hope that there will be a, a upswing, a, a return to form, if you will, by having both of the new champions featured. One is a two-star, one is a three-star, but what are you going to do? So, I was, uh, I was hesitant at first, because as you see right there on the left side of your screen, talking about the starter bundle... Um, not only does it not feature Invisible Woman, it doesn't feature any champion. There's no exclusive two-star crystal. There's no specialty category of champs or anything. As you can see, it is a premium hero crystal. So I was already shocking up to be skipping this bundle, and I probably still will. But if we look at it in further detail... So yes, you do get only the one premium hero crystal. Not exactly exciting. Um, I'm going to jump ahead for a second here. You get 500 three-star shards, one lesser attack boost, five small energy refills, and 5,000 gold. The only thing saving this bundle is the Stony Mastery Core. Now, granted, of course, it has a set value. If I go ahead and go back into the game here for a moment, um, it would be under Mastery, of course. So it is 135 units worth of an item right there of getting the stony core which is nice that like i said that is the saving grace 
of this bundle right here. So if you're still kind of starting out, this might be worth it for you to save the 135 units, which is $5 in the unit store. Um, if you're still working on your masteries or if you still have a long way to go on your masteries, you want to retool them, something like that, this might be worth it for you. Um, more middle of the road, certainly end game players, but maybe even some middle of the road who kind of have their mastery set, at least the ones that they want to work on for right now. I don't know. This might not be as appealing to you, but newer players, that stony core is definitely going to be the highlight of this bundle since certainly the lack of invisible woman getting replaced by a solo premium hero crystal, which most likely will give you a two star, uh, is certainly not enough to to justify spending the points even if it is only thirty thousand. so i don't know most likely i will be skipping this one i don't need the stony cores as much as many others do i'm not a hundred percent done with masteries but i've got pretty much all the ones that i would like at least for the time being so don't believe i'm going to be going for that one the one i absolutely will be going for of course is the namor questing bundle again that is your standard hundred twenty five thousand points um, and it will include a three-star Namor. So at the very least, again, getting one of the new champions won't have to do the three-star arena grind, which is not the end of the world, but it is nice to not have to do it. Um, in addition to that, you get another premium hero crystal, oddly enough. 500 four-star shards, uh, one greater attack boost, which is nice. It's nice getting the greater boosts, no matter whether it's health, attack, or champion. So it's, it's always nice getting those greater boosts. Uh, three full energy refills per usual, so that's 90 units right there, and then five of the greater golden crystals. Um, but again, obviously Namor is the highlight. I will definitely be getting this one. It'll be nice to add him to the roster officially, so I will be looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, just wanted to sneak in this quick little recap review of the June bundles. Again, really disappointed that... Um, that Invisible Woman, let me get that out of the way, that Invisible Woman is not being represented in these bundles, but hopefully they will continue to, to get back to featuring both of the new champions in a single month. That would be nice, or doing more opportunities for exclusive two-stars, specific ones, would be nice. But anyway, let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the bundles? Are you getting either of them? Are you getting both of them? Are you skipping them this month? Let me know down below. Um, as always, there'll be a link in there to go check out Marvel Insider in case you need to sign up. Pretty straightforward. As always, with my disclaimer, since name changes in-game are a bit more commonplace these days, make sure that you put in uh, the exact in-game name when you are redeeming these uh, bundles on the Marvel Insider website. Make sure it matches. If you're planning on changing your, your name in-game, do the name change first before you do the Insider bundles. Because if they don't match exactly, you're not going to get the prize and you're going to lose out on the points. So be careful with all of that. For now, though, it's good to be back. So thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell. All of that stuff really helps me out. And I greatly appreciate it. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care. And I will see you next time.